I've got Chief out and he's come in for our two week in-house training so we always like to put a little bit on tape at day one and see where they start off at. And he's a big boy. Boy howdy. I was expecting a I was expecting a shepherd, but you know, you're kind of a giant. <laughs> but so far, manner wise, he seems to be pretty good. Kind of knows what he's doing on a leash. Likes the treats. Tried tossing a few to him to see. Shepherds tend to be a little nippy with treats, but he doesn't catch very well. So we may have to fix that. Huh. Hey, wanna go for a walk? What is it, huh? I don't know what that is. Can I pick it up? All right, come on. Come on, Chief. So. Not really too bad. I mean, he said he was a pretty big puller, but I'm not seeing too much. Um, you know, personality-wise, he seems to be a typical shepherd, you know? Um, talks to you when you walk past, that sort of thing. Chief. Sit. And he knows how to sit. I love that. So that's off to a good start. Nothing major. You know, we're going to try to get some consistency in there and get to working with him. And we'll um, get him back out at the end of week one and see how he's doing then. We've got Chief out and he's been here for a week. So I wanted to put a little bit on tape and show you where he's at. Um, big boy, but a little bit older. So he kind of, I think, expects he's supposed to do some of this. I'm just not real sure if he was always comfortable with doing it consistently. Um, you know, so he's doing really well. Um, he's still got a few issues, honestly, but you know, everybody does at the end of week one. If um, we could do a week training, it would be so much easier, but it does take the full two weeks and that's why, because we want him to do it consistently and on command, some automatic like sits and stuff like that. So, but he's getting there and he's doing really well. So we'll put him through his paces and show you what he's learned in week one. Chief, wanna go? Come on, let's go. Good boy. No. No, leave it. Leave it. Come on. Sit. Stay. No. Leave it. It's really nosy. He's got a really big nose on him and he really likes to sniff and smell and kind of, you know, track along. So we've been working a lot on that. Good boy. Okay. Good job. You're good. You're good. Yeah, I know, huh? All right, let's go for a walk. Come on. Chief. Oh, good set. Look at there. All right, let's go. Come on. Good. Let's go. Stay. See if he's ready. Nope, not yet. Sit. Stay. Not quite ready for that test yet. When they're ready for a stay, you, you can do a test pull and dogs will kind of sit back into it and wait for you to give them that actual release command. Good boy. Okay. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Back up. Good. Good job, buddy. Let's go. Want it? Get it. Oh, okay. Chief, come. Ready? Get it. 
Can you get it? Hey, it's right there. Get it. Good boy. Chief, come. Hey. Oh, the leash didn't hinder you from coming. Come. Oh, yeah? 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 Get it. Good boy. Chief, come. Yeah, look at there, huh? Want to try it again? Chief, get it. Chief, come. Ready? Get it. Chief, come. Get it. Chief, come. Good, now you got the hang of the game. <laughs> so he actually needs a little work on that game, but you know, the best thing about it is, is that it teaches them to go out and get something and come back, sit. So if you're playing ball, you know, or something like that, they'll run for it. They may not always bring it back, but the whole purpose of it is, is for them to move away from you. And as soon as you say their name, look at you and come. So, you know, getting his attention from a distance is what we're working on, um, you know, as well as kind of ramping him up and making sure he doesn't come in and jump all over us, which he's never, he hadn't been a big jumper. When you go to get the leash on, he kind of gets excited. But from there, he settles right on down. I don't think there's any big problems. We've still got another week to go and some things to improve upon but he's doing really well. We're gonna put him up and we'll get him back out at the end of week two.